And actually this morning when I when I looked at him, actually he was unshaven, so maybe he's got that hungry look like a boxer. Yeah, I'm interested also then as we're watching what I call people on more as conventional bikes coming because I remember the time when Ballerini was riding on a, a bike with suspension front and rear and had problems with the back end of it. Or they're going back to traditional bicycles here, even though the uh, one of uh, Bazaar is made of carbon fiber. And so it's uh, quite fascinating how technology goes one way then the other, but it's still the ride that makes all the difference. And poor Taffy, by the way, looking back in some of his, his record, I say he hasn't, he's only had about nine successes so far as a pro. He didn't win a damn thing last year at all. He finished 14th in the Paris-Roubaix last year, Taffy, and they're just sending him out again. He's got to do all the, all the flogging, all the hard work and what have you. So uh, the poor chap then is going to be, there we are, with uh, Taffy, Bortolami, Muzo. He's probably still going to be the workhorse for Bortolami and Muzo to work it out amongst themselves. Yeah, Taffy is just a super domestic, but as I say that, we're looking at uh, Museo's bike now. He's, he's, he's lost his bottles. He's got rid of his bottles just for the extra lightness. Even though he's been against teammates, he's got to get this right. And these are the chasing two, then they're not going to close it back up. That was uh, Ballerini and uh, Zanini. Back to the third group on the road. Remember, they're over two minutes back. But the action is all with the front group. We've got three riders all from the same team. We've got Taffy, the Italian. We've got uh, Botolami, the Italian. We've got Museo, the big favourite. This is the chasing group of Ekimov, Holmes, Jamil. Francis Moreau, the ex-world champion, the young Italian, is on the back as well. So remember, they're going for uh, sixth place at the moment. And here's the front group again, on the front there. That's Taffy. Second place looking cool and comfortable, Johan Mizeo. He's the one without the, uh, without the yellow hat or the green, the green cask. So, Mizeo, undoubtedly the... Uh, best rider in this group for, as regards uh, performances over the years. I say he's had over 50 victories now as a professional Johan Mazzeo. Uh, in fact, to what, 63 coming into this season, if my calculation is correct. Finished third in the Paris-Roubaix last year, did uh, Johan Mazzeo. He had, in fact, 11 victories last year compared with his two breakaway compatriots at the moment. Bortolami only having one victory, which is in the prologue of the uh, Tour du DuPont. And uh, uh, Taffy had no successes at all last year, uh, so Taffy finishing in uh, 14th place in the Paris-Roubaix last year, so what's going to happen this time round? There again we saw Jan Mezeo putting his hand up, there's obviously some sort of problems here. he keeps putting his hand up, it's not problems with his bike, it's probably problems with the teams, because I think it's going to be between him and Jean-Luc Botolami. Well he certainly changed his bike, because his number's not on that one, although again it looks like a carbon fibre one from uh, Mr Conago, so without the number on the bike, it says that um, uh, it's uh, really uh, probably a change of bike that he's had at the moment, and they're heading in now, they're inside the last five kilometres to go, massive crowd here at the stadium, in fact the local people are saying they've never seen so many people and I felt the same thing too as we came along the course this morning and uh, at the start and so on we've seen an enormous great crowd of Brits out there we, they come across in coaches uh, to watch the event of well, I even see my good friend Phil Liggett in his uh, uh, Renault his Spass with a, a lot of Americans all been out riding their bicycles and uh, they were out there too but a tremendous crowd good day for it and the crowd here they'll absolutely go bananas because there's so many people I think from Belgium here if, if, if uh, Rousseau gets this one I feel the stadium will up. It's going to be a great finish. And don't forget Pat Ligger was here as well because she came up to me and she said Russell, I've never, never seen you looking so fit so there you go. That's what a day off for that's what a day off does for you. If you you'd, I've done what I said and ridden the last uh, uh, 40 kilometres today, you wouldn't have found it but just with two and a half kilometres to go now are they going to wait till they get on the track? When they come out on the track, the entrance to the track is on the far side from the finish line they do a complete uh, uh, run through the finish line first time and come round and do one full lap, so lap and a half for the riders uh, on the run in uh, toward the finish now, they'll be on this cobbles in the centre of the road. And Museo's missed, 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 missing turns all the time. And look at him, he's out of saddle, he's flexing his legs. He's trying to get that fresh blood back into the legs. There's Taffy. Taffy knows he's got third place. No way is he going to win. But there is a possibility of the guy in the front, Jean-Luc Botolami, if he gets on the wheel of uh, Museo, there's possibly a chance of him winning. But here we go. We're coming down to the last two Ks now. But it looks like Jean-Luc Botolami's doing longer turns the whole time. So maybe he's going to be Museo, the team leader. Who knows? We're coming very closer and closer. Taffy's trying to come through, but Botolami's doing a, a really hard turn. But here comes Taffy, giving it, he's big on that 53 ring, he's down there on the 13, he's really churning, but look at Museo, he's out of saddle, look at it, side to side, flexing the legs, he's looking comfortable, just like a sprinter, there he is, shaking his legs a little bit, we're coming closer and closer, this is the big win he wanted, remember, last week he blew it, wasn't his fault, he had bite problems or maybe problems in the legs, they're doing the left turn here.